Let's go ahead and make one of my favorite recipes. It's our plant part sandwich. So I love this because it's super flexible. You can't go wrong and you can use anything that's going in your garden. So the concept is you have students choose a root, a leaf, a stem, a flower, a fruit, whatever part of the plants that you have available. And we'll combine those into the sandwich with a little bit of goat cheese. If you don't want to do goat cheese, hummus would be another great option on some whole grain bread. We slice it up and everyone can have a taste and that way you're getting some grains, some veggies, and a little bit of protein. So it's an all around great recipe. Today in mine we're going to be using cucumber. This is a fruit, botanically speaking. Then we've got a tomato, also botanically speaking a fruit. For my leaves I'm doing some fresh parsley and for my root, I'm doing some purple carrots. I'm going to go ahead and show you how we're going to chop these up and assemble the sandwich with a little bit of peppered herb goat cheese. Let's get cooking. So for the plant part sandwich, let's go ahead and start with our cucumber. You can see I've used a little bit already in my infused water, but now I can continue to use it in my plant part sandwich. Cucumber is a really great veggie because I'm slicing it so thin I don't need to worry as much about peeling it if I wanted to slice it a little thicker The skin can be a little bit tough So I would want to peel it in that instance I don't need a lot because I'm gonna back so many veggies into this sandwich So I just cut a couple slices right here Then let's work on our tomatoes So a great trick for tomatoes especially if they're soft and ripe is to use a serrated bread knife I have a really sharp chef's knife today that will work just fine, but you could use a bread or a steak knife and that serration makes it a little bit easier. So for me, I like to do the bridge first and cut the tomato in half so I have smaller amounts to work with, especially when we're working with our students and their knife skills in our after school classes. It's nice to have smaller pieces, so it's a safer way to start. I'm going to go ahead and just cut out the stem a little bit. We'll put that to the compost or to the worms and then I can just come through and make some nice thin slices. Again, I'm trying to keep these thin because I don't want a mile high sandwich. I want something that I can easily bite into. So I'm going to go ahead and set the rest aside. If you're cooking with this with your students, maybe each group assembles their own sandwich. So you might go ahead and slice the whole thing and then just divide it among four or five groups. So we've got our tomato. I've got our purple carrots. I'm going to go ahead and take off the top here. And again, because this is going to be going on a sandwich, I'm going to slice these nice and long so it's not completely falling out of the sandwich every time I take a bite. And then I could go ahead and turn it on the side and get a couple more slices. So I've got this nice purple carrot with the bright orange inside. The other way to do the carrots, which I always like to demo, is to take your carrot and then go ahead and slice some rounds on what we call a bias. So you're working at an angle here. Now you've got a really great shape if you want to eat these with hummus or guacamole, a healthier option for a chip. And let's say you wanted to do some really thin um, slices here or what's called a julienne. I can stack these rounds up now and just come through. And I'll have some perfectly little matchstick julienne carrot cuts. So that's just a really nice, simple way to cut carrots without having to struggle cutting it into a perfect square and then um, tiny little slices before you get to your dice. All right, so we're ready to assemble. It would, oh, let me show you the parsley, our leafy greens. So when you're working with the students, they can easily just pluck off um, each little leaf of parsley. When I'm working at home, I just like to shave it a little and get the most of them off and then I'm just left with some stems and it goes a lot faster. The stems are really great in soups and broth so for me I have a freezer bag and I just throw the stems in there at the end along with onions, carrot peels, things like that and so then I can just make um, boil those and strain it and I'll have a nice veggie broth. So I'm just going to cut up some of my parsley here so that I can sprinkle it onto my sandwich. And we'll get this out of the way so we work nice and neat. So we've got all of our plant parts, a leaf, roots with the carrots, and then two fruits of the plant. Then I've got some nice whole grain, whole wheat bread here. So for this, you always wanna check the nutrition label and make sure the first thing listed 
on the ingredient was whole wheat flour or whole grain flour or some other whole wheat like brown rice oatmeal or something like this so now i've got some goat cheese that i've just mixed a little bit of pepper and a little bit of herbs in and i'm going to go ahead and spread just a bit onto one piece of toast this is going to help keep my sandwich together as well as add a little bit of protein and a nice creaminess to the crunchiness of the veggies as well as a little bit of saltiness with the cheese so then I'm going to go ahead and spread it on this one now I like to toast my toast or my bread ahead of time so it's a little bit easier to spread and manage but you could easily do this with just some bread straight out of the bag all right so now I get to be a sandwich artist and sprinkle some parsley here then maybe I want to lay out my cucumbers a bit and then I'll add some of my tomatoes onto the sandwich and then some of my carrots for that nice crunch there we go a fancy word for raw veggies is a crudité so you could serve this as a crudité platter I'm going to go ahead and top it and now in the Garden Bites and Small Bites curriculum, you're just doing a tasting portion for your students. So they don't get this whole sandwich. What you want to do is come through and cut it. I like to do fourths and then every student can get a fourth as a way to try the sandwich. So they can assemble these in groups, for example, and then Go ahead, you can help them cut it, or they could use a plastic knife. It's going to get a little bit messy, but now you've got a great plant part sandwich. Enjoy.